Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, inspiration, information, education, guidance, advice, and um, in a previous video we touched on the concept of Nagios, of uh, self-interest, of um, you know, having a personal stake in the matter. And I'm reminded um, of... Uh, of uh, Rav um, Eliezer, uh, Eliyahu Eliezer Dressler, we mentioned him in a previous video, and he uh, he has a, a moshal, he has a he has a parable um, to bring this out, where self-interest can uh, lead to someone's uh, doom. And once upon a time, there was a fox, and um, a lion caught it, caught the fox, he's about to eat it. The fox uh, speaks up. He says, why? Why would you want to, to eat me? I'm, I'm barely a mouthful. I'm just skin and bones. Let me take you to a, a man, a, a hefty kind of guy. And he'd be, he'd be much more, uh, more than sufficient to provide a, a satisfying meal for you. Lion listens. He follows the fox. And sure enough, in a clearing, there's a man sitting down. Um, and he's... Uh, in the area directly before the man is this this little thing that seems like branches and leaves. It seems really out of place. There's something in front of him. It just the uh, the lion didn't feel comfortable. And um, it's, it's, there's something about these branches and leaves. Of course, it was a trap. It was set up to protect the man from any harmful animals that would, you know, would come to do him harm, like the lion. He turned, the lion turns to the fox, he says, I'm afraid to attack the man. And the fox goes, why? You're, you're, you're a lion, come on, you got like huge paws with giant razors on them, you've got teeth, what are you afraid of? He says, the man, it looks like he's praying. I'm afraid to attack the man because of his ability to pray. His prayers will prevent my successful attack. Will probably harm me. The fox says, don't worry, don't worry. His prayers will not have an immediate effect on you. They will, however, affect your descendants. Two generations in the future. They're going to affect grandchildren. The lion listens to the fox, makes a running leap, for the, the unsuspecting man sitting peaceably, and as expected, the lion falls into the trap and is severely injured. From the hole in the ground, the, the lion looks up to the fox, and he says, you told me the man's prayers would have no effect on me. They would only affect my grandchildren. But look what happened. You were wrong. And the fox, using his uh, natural guile, responded, it appears to me, my dear lion, that you are being punished for your grandfather's sins. And the uh, lion says, why should I be held responsible for the sins of my ancestors? What do they got to do with me? And their fox turned to the lion with a very deadpan look and said to him, why did you not care about your descendants? It was all well and good when you weren't going to suffer any effects. Your grandfather had the same attitude, and you're being punished from it. Um, this is a very clear and simple message. When the lion was not personally involved, when he didn't have a personal stake in the matter, when he wasn't going to be directly affected, when he had no nagias, he didn't care if others would pay for his sins. Now that he is the one who's paying entire perspective is altered. Korach, Korach Rebellion, he was wise and he was an erudite man until it affected him personally. Then he was quite foolish. Um, when you wear rose-colored glasses, everything seems rosy. Um, those Spectacles, those glasses of vested interests, distort a person's vision, 
regardless of the individual's nature. A truly great righteous person, a tzaddik, is able to transcend his personal interests, his personal negias, in order to, devo- to, devo- to avoid becoming a victim of the resulting myopia. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.